the July update for the 1K dividend account challenge. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I appreciate you guys being here. If you are new, I did a challenge where I put a thousand dollars split in between 10 different high yielding stocks and ETFs, and we're tracking how they do. Now, it has been crazy. We can see over the last month, we are down about two dollars. So, we have not traded well at all. We have made money on the dividends, of course, but all in all, things have just been sitting pretty flat. The market as a whole is not doing great. It's not doing terribly, but this last month was kind of boring. So in this video, we're going to go over, again, just the stocks and ETFs that I chose, a little bit into why I chose them, and then we're going to look at the dividends paid out this month and our dividend tracker and what we're anticipating to get next month. So we are up about a little less than $9. I have a few dollars in Bitcoin on this Robinhood account, so we're up a couple dollars nothing nothing really crazy to write home about the market has been doing well i mean spy is up so so far the account has been losing compared to spy and qqq um, and there's one really solid reason for that which i will talk about but before i do that i appreciate you guys for watching the video it does me a huge help if you like the video and if you comment what stock you would choose as well as subscribing not a lot of you guys are subscribed i'll throw this up on the screen right now and that's okay if you're not if you like the videos and you don't want to subscribe i still appreciate you guys being here so thank you guys very much let's jump into the stocks that i have chosen we are looking at ticker arcc one of the largest bdc's uh, JEPQ, which pays monthly, which I love. SPYI, which pays monthly, that I love. CONY, that has been doing extremely well. MAIN, Main Street Capital, another one that has been killing it lately. 3M is actually doing well. I'm, um, I'm, I'm surprised that it's doing as well as it is, but I'm happy. Vici Properties, LEG, Leggett and Platt are worst stock. MPW has been all over the place, not doing well this last month. Uh, TSLY, also not doing too well, and SOLV, which is part of the 3M spinoff. So for clarification, I put $100 into each of these uh, securities, each of these stocks and ETFs. So ARCC is up 9%. JEPQ is up 16 It has made $16, which is crazy. And I continue to buy these shares. And then we have SPYI, which is up 110 uh, sorry, uh, $10. It's at $110.74 total, almost 11% up. CONY absolutely demolishing everything else, up $28. I keep saying 100. Um, it's at a total of almost $130, just under that, which I love. The dividends have been insane. I just put out a video on Coney's dividends that it has paid out in this account. If you are interested, I'll link that video down below for you guys. Main Street Capital, a really popular BDC that only yields 6%, but this one has been doing so well with its share price, as we can actually see. I mean, the last month up almost four, almost almost 5%, and three months up 7%. So this one year to date has been performing well, up 16%, which I love. Um, if we see CONY is actually down year to date by 30%, but the dividend yield has been paying out so well that it is positive. Uh, JEPQ has been doing well. If we're looking at it year to date, up 12%, uh, which is phenomenal. And so we're still up a little bit with the dividends. ARCC, I haven't really been tracking a lot of these outside of this account. I do own a number of these, but I have not been paying super close attention to them. But I'm pumped with how well this account's been doing. Now, here's the shocker 3M. 3M, you might look at this and say, hey, it's actually down. Market value is only $95. But with their spinoff, we have to combine this one with SOLV, which is $12. So total, it's up about 13%. So we bought, we, we purchased 3M. They did their spinoff and SOLV was born. And it hasn't been doing too hot since its inception, but it still puts 3M positive because 3M was really low. We saw a pretty drastic drop with 3M um, after in, the, in January, even right after we bought it. Partially, this was probably due to that spinoff, and then it bounced back when the spinoff uh, was finalized. Vici Properties, this one has been really, really underwhelming to me. I thought it would do better, and I'm curious if it's going to. It's getting more into a buy range, um, but do what you want to the dividends have been consistent here's our biggest loser leg this one has dropped so terribly down 56 percent. we would be doing extremely well in this account we'd be up over five percent if it weren't for this stock 
So I am bummed to say the least. And I mean, the five year chart on this is awful. This was a $50, $60 stock and now it's at $11. Is this one at a buy range now? They cut their dividend quite a bit. So for me, I just, I don't like buying them when they're down this terribly. Down 61% in one year. This thing was a dividend king. And then they cut their dividend. So really disappointed in that one. The funniest thing is I put these two, 3M and LEG, into this account because they are dividend kings. They were paying out for 30 plus years with dividend growth. I thought they were going to destroy the Coney Coinbase Yield Max Fund. And it has now done extremely well. And leg has dropped terribly. MPW all over the map. Really a lot of speculation. Since we purchased this one, it has been up and down like a roller coaster. So we bought it in January. It immediately fell to $3, which was the low and has since then climbed back, but is now dropping again, almost to a buy range for me. I buy this one on the dips because it dips all the time and it has been, it was doing well until this most recent dip and the dividend is sitting decently. And then we have TSLY, which has been matching the price of Tesla and dropping down 50% the past year. So that is it. Those are all of our stocks in the account. And I am happy with a lot of them. I'm not happy with some of them, as you can guess. And I'm curious as to what you guys think. And if any of these surprised you, let me know in the comments, because I was not expecting leg to drop like this. And I thought I actually thought 3M would do significantly worse with all the lawsuit news, but it has been doing okay. So let me know what you guys think. Let's jump into the dividend tracker and see exactly how much money we made this month with all of these dividend stocks and ETFs. So here we are with our dividend tracker. We're on the dividend tracker. I like this software. I don't love it. You can't do reinvesting dividends. So every time I have to come in and update it, which is not a lot of work, but it, it would be nice if it could. Um, so currently we're sitting with our portfolio dividend yield at 23 and a half percent. Most of that coming from C, uh, C O N Y and T S L Y. Uh, Coney is currently yielding over a hundred percent and that actually is pretty backed up according to what I've looked at with the research on what it's been paying me. And so we can see this has it at sitting about a thousand dollars, um, and a $4 gain, which is not good. This has it being down $115. A lot of that is because it's not counting in the dividends that we're making. And that's why that's what that disparity is. So we've talked about the diversification and, and what is in this account. There's not, it's not terrible diversification. We can see, um, a lot of MISC, which would be like Coney, Tesla, and a couple of the other ones. Financial services, which are BDCs, real estate, REITs, industrials, Leggett and Platt and 3M, consumer cyclical, that actually might be Leg or 3M. So it's a little bit all over the place, but this payout calendar, let's see how we did. A lot paid out this month. We had dividends from Coney, Tesla, JEPQ, which are all our monthlies, uh, Main Street Capital and 3M. Main is also a monthly. And then we had ARCC, Main again and SPYI, which means did we get a special dividend from Main Street Capital? Let's check. Um, but total, we made $20.80.79 from this month, which is phenomenal. 2% um, return on the month just from the dividends, not including the price appreciation. So let's take a look at how these paid out. So we had $10.69 from Coney. And we had $3.58 from Tesla, which I'm happy with both of those. Coney, whenever it gets over $10, I'm ecstatic because it's a crazy dividend. Um, what did we get from JEPQ? Didn't pop. Oh, there it is. Uh, $0.94, cents, which is excellent. That's close to a 12% yield on the year because we're going to get $0.94 cents each time. And that's on only two shares. So pretty happy with that. Main Street Capital, a dividend paid us $0.58. Cents. Again, 6 it's, that's a little bit over a 6% yield because we get 12 every single year and on the $100 investment. And then we had 3M 65 cents. This pays out quarterly. So it is definitely a lower yield, significantly lower. I should look into that actually because it should be paying more than that as one of our quarterly payers. Um, then we had ARCC $2.51. I would expect main uh, 3M to be paying closer to a couple bucks. ARCC consistent. Love it. One of my favorites. Tell me we had a main special dividend, Main Street Capital dividend on the 14th for 58 cents. So it doesn't look like it's a special dividend. It looks like they just have it grouped into both. I'm not sure why that is. Must be just a glitch with the software. And then we have SPYI, which is actually paying out. Okay. Main Street Capital on the 
for 73 cents. So there must have been a special dividend with Main Street Capital, which, boom, love it. They keep paying out those special dividends. I'll double check that, but it looks like that's what it is. If I'm wrong, let me know. And then we have SPYI. So I talk about this almost every time. When I first invested into SPYI, I was getting a dollar every single month because it was just over a 12% dividend yield. And now we've worked our way up all the way to $1.12 a month. This is the power of dividends and compounding. It has been performing well. The price, I would say, I think it's been consistent in the price, but the dividend has been really, really consistent. I love to see that. Um, I have more videos on SPYI and QQQI, which I love that fund as well. They're both from NEOS. If you guys are interested, check those out on my channel. So all in all, $20.79 from the month of June. If we go to next month, let's see, we're expected around the same $21. And if we go to just our account, which would probably be the same, we can see that, yeah, we're expecting about $20, a little bit lower in August. We must be losing some of our quarterly dividends and then they come back pretty cyclically. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you want more details, let me know, but I appreciate you guys for being here. Don't forget to hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next monthly update.